Yeah, Mike, Gcopy, Kate in Canterbury, Charlie Echo, zero one. Well, I'm listening to you. That is absolutely amazing to catch you there. Um, in the Canary Islands, Mike, that is so cool. Uh, you're five and five and three, Canterbury. <laughs> but it's really up and down that is quite an amazing contact on on the fm there that is really cool and i'm on the um the old school president washington that's got the uk 40 so um yeah that is really cool to get you and i'm doing about 70 watts well, when you were allowed i got you was the nicest uh, AF General Electric, which looks like a uh, Simon SSD, but uh, basically I built an SSD radio into it, so it's like a hybrid, this thing I'm using. It's got one of these curved S meters, it's giving me like a signal of three on it. And uh, when I was out, you sound great, but I'm suffering with loads of bloody SSD interference. Wow, I can't believe I've got you there. That is absolutely awesome. And um, yeah, I'm on the vertical antenna and I'm running, well, quite an old school uh, sort of um, amplifier. So um, I got rid of the valve amp because it was uh, bringing in some interference. So, but you're sounding awesome uh, when I can hear you there. That is really cool. Back to you, Mike. Yeah, well, I heard all that perfectly. You were sat next to me. Well, I've only using like 70 watts here myself. And like you said, this radio is actually was a, a new old stock Raphael 2400. And uh, I built it inside of General Electric AM set because I like to look at the front of it and uh, put the frequency count on it and whatnot. And uh, nice little thing. But uh, I never used it on FM. This is my first time I've ever even switched it on on FM. <laughs> Wow, it definitely sounds really, really good. And you're peaking up a five, well, five and five. And uh, that is quite a contact into uh, Lanzarote um, from the south of England, uh, Canterbury. And I'm on the uh, the Silver Eagle um, A-Static pa uh, paired with the, um, yeah, the President Washington. That is so cool. Thanks for coming back to me. Thanks for coming back to me. Well, you sound awesome, I tell you. <laughs> Sound like you sat back in the chair with a microphone and meet the phone with all crystal clear audio. <laughs> That is absolutely awesome. I'm running you a bit of a video, um, as ever, Mike. So um, that would be really cool to hear what I sound like on your side. Uh, back to you. Well, you just got a stack of over on the last one. <laughs> but the last three of them, I did every single word perfect with nothing. Then the last time you just got white to fit. Someone on SSD at this. Oh, what well, is that? Okay, can I be good making a contact with you then? I'll uh, cut you loose before I lose out and... Uh, <laughs> well, keep calling. I'm sure um, when people know that you're in Lanzarote there, they're going to be wanting to get back to you. Thanks so much then, Mike, and I'll catch you again soon. <laughs> awesome. Please, 
Hello, John. How are you doing? Howdy, howdy. Hello, Kate. Over there in Canterbury, I'm doing pretty darn well. I we got really lucky there and saw a little action on a, on a off channel. And, um, and there you were also in the background. So uh, nice to uh, speak with you this, this uh, tea time here in the state of Maine. Uh, back to you, Kate. How are you doing? Well, I'm very, very well, and I'm only running about, I think it's peaking up about 70 watts um, for a real old school um, linear amplifier. So that is amazing that you can hear me over there in Maine. That is awesome. And I'm on the President Washington uh, with the Silver Eagle um, A Static. Back to you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That sounds like <laughs> an static Silver Eagle. I don't know if that has the tone control on it, but um, uh, well, it's, uh, it's it's got that sound. <laughs> I uh, I have the 1104C. I'm not using it on this radio, but if I put the 1104C on on this, it'll also sound the same. Uh, I like the tone control in them, but uh, well, let's say that 70 watts, and even out if you're vertical, uh, it's still peaking to an eight in my receiver yeah. case. So um, well done, well done. Uh, people have had really good luck. Um, I even accidentally yep. made a contact this morning uh, over in uh, 16 Division, unknowingly on my Omni as well. So uh, propagation is just amazing today. Um, on this side, uh, T5 is uh, just a business. Um, so it's just wild, wild times. So I'm um, here on my, my coffee break from my homestead. But you're, uh, you're sounding great on that old school rig there, uh, back to you, Kate. Yeah, that is absolutely awesome because I was using a really old school speedy and um, it was picking up the RF apparently and I was um, a few people told me about it and um, I've swapped to this old this other one. So that is so cool. What a bit of luck you heard me calling out there because I could hear someone really faint um, in the background. Um, and it has been absolutely bonkers today um, on the UK 40 FM. Uh, lots of Scotland, um, Ireland, and uh, today, throughout the day, I could hear the US coming in. So I'm really glad that you caught me there. Um, John, back to you. Uh, yeah, QSO, uh, QSO, okay. So it looks like uh, conditions are dropping a little bit there. Oh. You did drop to a three car. Uh, so we're, we're also from the nature of output here. <laughs> but yes, uh, that, was, that was quite fortunate. I think it was over there. I didn't quite catch his numbers, but uh, in the background of that, I, I caught you, so that's fantastic. That's a good luck. I uh, think I came down here calling once or twice, uh, scanning and, and looking for you. Uh, there's just like you, and there's uh, Mike Papa 1305 and his young son Will there uh, that are down here. I still like to come down to the CD channel just to uh, say hello, but mostly I'm, I'm uh, up the end. But right on. Well, well, well. That's just fantastic. Uh, <laughs> do you um do you see yourself uh, getting a beam anytime soon? Or are you gonna just uh, stick with the vertical cage uh, back to you? Yeah. Well, do you know what? I seem to have a lot of luck with just the vertical, to be honest. So um, I'm gonna get. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna carry on like I am, you know. But um, well, possibly you never know. And uh, maybe um. I might run a wire maybe, see what that does. But um, yeah, I, I'm really enjoying it. It's absolutely awesome. And to get out um, with the vertical antenna um, over to the States is absolutely awesome. And your peak signal, uh, John, was a five and seven. I think you may have been touching the nine on the old school President Washington. Uh, thank you so much for coming back. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. I do know all of Washington and those old uh, unit in chassis there. They're on the meter, so my uh, my radio is for uh, feelings are hurt. <laughs> but yeah, uh, there's some funny stories over there in England. Of, I know some guys running wires in their attics, and even the three element um, Yagi's, as long as they don't just pointing it at, at the state. <laughs> what they do sometimes. Oh, all the funny things that people do to stay on the air, but. Yeah, I'm noticing, um, you know, uh, I, I've noticed a huge, huge difference. Um, if, if I were on my Omni right now, uh, which is, um, you know, with the elevation that I have and everything, my phase of 5 eighths ground wave is almost as good as your serial. Um, I wouldn't have half the contacts in my books. Um, I wouldn't have half of them that I do with my beam or any kind of beam. I, it's amazing um, the differences when I'm uh, talking to vertical stations over there. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I could hardly even pick you up on my on my vertical here. Um, it's just the beams just are what they are. Even if it's a little two element motion or something, it still blows the uh, our vertical out of the water yeah. in uh, in overseas skips. But uh, yeah, he's sounding lovely today. He's sounding chipper uh, for for late evening. And I'm gonna guess what it is about ten thirty heading towards eleven noon. Yeah, that's UK. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's coming up for, um, we've just got back from Sunday lunch actually, we normally go up to, um, to Mel's parents for Sunday lunch and uh, we just got back and it's quarter to ten uh, here in England, um, so that is so cool and I'll tell you what, um, if you wasn't running your beam I don't think we'd be having a conversation now, so it, it's definitely good uh, one way, so that's really cool and I think, well the aerial's um, a five eighth wave um, Siri 0827 so it's absolutely awesome and I think um, a lot of people have said that you know it's probably the best vertical um, definitely out there so um, sorry I was just running out of breath um, oh thank you so much there John for coming back to me and if you can hear anyone else um, bring them in yeah, QSL, K QSL. I got most of that, um, but we had an Italian here, I think, uh, stomping on the uh, channel and giving me nine over. Uh, so you didn't uh, stand a chance for that, Smith. <laughs> I, uh, I'm sorry there, Kate. Um, uh, you're still holding in there 3 5. Um, the conditions are not great. There's still a lot of noise and splatter, and then there's just a lot of QRM now. Sometimes coming in nine plus some naughty, naughty people out there. Um, <laughs> But, uh, yes, ma'am, um, got a good tip on you. I, I hope you're uh, enjoying a lovely evening. Uh, for now, I, I think I'm going to run and scan the band yeah. and um, see if there's any weird divisions out there I can pick up today. But uh, uh, I had a few missed opportunities at Qatar and a few in the Middle East. I don't know why they weren't hearing me. But, um, oh boy, I really don't like it when people um, call on a, on a call channel but they don't do a key with why. It's almost impossible to get a hold of those people. And I wish they would, because some of those are the hardest decisions for me to get. But anyhow, uh, Miss Kate, uh, oh heck, maybe you can even uh, catch some long pass tonight. I bet you maybe that's opening up for you to uh, yeah. Australia. That'd be kind of cool. But anyhow, uh, uh, Kate, uh, tell me if you're one. I want to go to 351 and take good care of yourself. I hope you uh, get to meet you uh, okay. And um, oh, yes, uh, I hope you do cross it. It's always searching for you. So always uh, sounding great on that old school equipment, Kate. Uh, 751 Yeah, thanks so much there, John, once again for coming back. That is so, so cool that you could hear me on my old school um, radio. That is so cool. Thanks again. And it's probably the best contact we've had um, for a while. Um, you've been a steady sort of five, uh, five, 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 seven. Absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, John, for coming back. And I'll catch you again soon. Yeah, kill us all, kill us all, and you did come back. Mother Nature granted you one last slap of the knee with five seven. <laughs> so, well, well done, Kate, for that uh, seventy one. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, I got you there, 171 New York. That is awesome. You're peaking a five and three into Canterbury, England. Operator Kate. Hello, here is Papa 
Alpha Charlie 75 in Switzerland, operator Enrico. Uh, I'm in St. Gallen, uh, nearby the Lake of Constance in Switzerland. <laughs> Hello 171 New York, uh, this is Charlie Echo 01, Operator Kate in the southeast of England, back to you. Yeah, I've got you there, Gary. Uh, Staten Island, New York. That is awesome. You're a five and three into Canterbury, England. Uh, great to hear you. Yeah, thanks so much there, Gary, for coming back to me. You're sounding absolutely awesome in the old school. President Washington are running about 70 watts. That is absolutely awesome. Thanks very much.